So things are coming along and we want to talk a little bit more about routing and nesting. So right now we have a home page that works. We have a movies page that lists movies and I want these to link to a page about each of the individual movies. And we also have this manage catalog. So let's go back to our code. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a change to the way that we're routing. So in app.js, just because it's clearer, it takes the hashes out of it, I'm going to change this back to browser router and save that and go back to my code or my browser and I'll just click on the home page. There it is. So now we don't have that hash messing things up. And this will just make what I'm going to try to do a little bit clearer. So let's modify the bit of code that produces this list to make this a link. And we'll just take it to a particular page that just shows the ID of whatever link we've clicked on. So let's go back to our code. And the first thing I'm going to do is in our switch statement, I'm actually going to add before slash movies, I'm going to add another root. And this one will match path equals slash movies. And then I'm going to put a colon ID in here. And that's a kind of placeholder. That's actually going to be substituted by whatever ID it happens to be. We'll use numbers just to make things clear. So back on this page, for example, we'll have this be ID 1, the Godfather is ID 2, and the Dark Knight is ID 3. Okay? So, I'm going to, inside of that, I'm going to link to something that doesn't exist yet. It's just called movie. And I'll just make that a simple function. So, down at the bottom of this file, which is app.js, I'll create a new function just called movie. And what I need to do is to get the ID that's part of the URL. So slash movies slash one, for example. And I can do that just by saying let, and then in curly brackets, I'll just put ID, which is what I'm looking for. And that matches the colon ID in the path that we just typed in. And I'll make that equal to a function that we get from the React router. Use params. Okay. And now I'll just return, just to make sure this works, h2, and I'll say movie id, and then just id. Like that. Okay. So when I typed use params there, hopefully it imported it for me. It did. It's right up like that. So let's go back to our code and reload this just to make sure it works. No errors, that's good. Now, in our movies page where we list those movies, we need to make some changes to the code there to actually build the URL for us. So let's go to movies.js right here. And this is a React component. And we're using that component did mount function to simulate a call to a remote API. So down here, we need to link this title. We need to build a link there. And of course, since we're using the router, we're actually going to use the link function. Link, and we'll say two equals. And then you'd think you could type it like this, slash movies slash whatever it is, the ID, but you can't. That actually won't work. Instead, you have to use this syntax. In curly brackets, with a backtick, slash movies, slash, and then dollar sign, open curly bracket, m.id, which is our movie ID. And then we close our backticks. It's just a JavaScript template. And we close our curly quote, and we close our tag. And I'll move this link tag to the end. There. Now link is showing up as an error because it's not defined. So back up at the top, let's just import it. All we need is link And we're importing that from React Router DOM, right there. Okay. So if I save this, there's no errors. Let's go back and look at our browser and see how it works. Now we have links. And if I roll over the first one, it should say slash movies slash one in the lower left-hand corner. And it does. And that's movies two. And that's movies three. Perfect. And if I click on one of these, let's see if our switch statement actually works. Movie ID three. Let's go back to movies. The Shaw Set Shank Redemption. Movie ID 1. Perfect. Now this is actually an example of nested routing because we don't have slash 1. We have slash movies slash 1. Slash movies slash 3. So on and so forth. But just to make it clear, in the next lecture we'll add another menu item here. 
by category. That allows us to look at movies simply by category. So comedy, drama, whatever it may be. And we'll get started on that in the next lecture.